Pride. Yuko hapa na shughuli yetu kubwa hapa ni kuweka utaratibu wa kwanza kuweka kiwanda hapa ambacho kinaonekana pale eh, mheshimiwa eh, RC. Kazi hii sio kazi rahisi ni kazi ambayo imechukua miaka 15 tangu siji kwa hiyo hapa nchini. Kwa hiyo leo katika mkoa wako ndio kiwanda cha kwanza Tanzania kinawepo ambacho kitachakata mbegu zinazozalishwa hapa nchini na ambazo zitasalishwa katika kupeleka katika nchi zingine za Afrika ya Mashariki na kadhalika. Kwa hiyo it's a half. Ni kazi kubwa na tunataka kuwapongeza sana. Jamhuri ya Muungano wa Tanzania. Ndugu yangu Morgan Nzwere the group chief executive officer wa Sidco eh uh, yangu Geoffrey Kirenga kutoka Sagot Bob Shuma mwenyekiti wa chama cha Begu MC <laughs> uh, consultants wanahabari na sisi wadau wote ambao tumehusika hapa kwamba kwanza niombe radhi sana kwa kuchelewa bahati mbaya sana kesho asubuhi tunampokea rais anafika kwa siku tatu kwa ziara lakini muda mfupi uliopita ndio umepewa taarifa kwamba natakiwa kuwa yeye hapo na nusu na mpokea waziri mkuu kwa hiyo ilibidi kujipanga kidogo sasa hiyo imenibana kwa hiyo niombe radhi sana kwa kuchelewa lakini seme tu namshukuru Mwenyezi Mungu tumekutana hapa kwa jambo hili kubwa la kihistoria kama mnavyojua serikali awamu zote sita za serikali nchini zimeweka nguvu kubwa sana kwenye sekta ya kilimo kwa maana ya mnyororo mzima wa thamani wa sekta ya kilimo lakini serikali ya awamu ya sita kihistoria imevunja rekodi ya kuwekeza kwenye kilimo chini ya uongozi wa rais wetu dr Samia Suluh Hassan mmeona nguvu ambayo imewekwa kwenye kilimo serikali yenyewe ime, imeweka fedha nyingi sana Serikali yenyewe sasa inasukuma utaalamu mkubwa sana kwenye sekta ya kilimo. Lakini vile vile sera zetu kwenye kilimo katika miaka hii miwili zimebadilishwa sana. Sheria zetu zimeboreshwa sana ili kuweka mazingira mazuri ya sekta hii ya kilimo ambayo zaidi ya asilimia sitini ya Watanzania wako kwenye shughuli moja au nyingine kwenye mnyororo wa thamani wa kilimo tumeona wizara yetu ya kilimo chini ya waziri Huseni Bashe na timu nzima ya wizara ya kilimo tumeona wadau wetu wengi pamoja na Sidco wakifanya kazi kubwa sana kuendeleza sekta hii ya kilimo leo tuko hapa kama ushahidi mmoja wapo wa sera nzuri katika sekta ya kilimo sheria nzuri ambazo leo Sidco ambaye ni, ni mdau mkubwa sana kwenye sekta hii kwenye upatikanaji wa mbegu bora za mazao ambayo tunayategemea sana nchini yawe mazao ya nafaka yawe kwenye sekta ya mboga mboga na matunda wameamua kwa sera nzuri kuwekeza kwenye mradi huu wa kiwanda ambacho kitachakata mbegu bora na tunaona uwekezaji huu usiopungua shilingi bilioni tano za kitanzania naomba tuwapongeze sana sidiko kwa maamuzi haya kwa mfano huu mzuri si kwamba tu sidiko atatusaidia kupata mbegu bora za kutosha nchini kwa sababu paka sasa wataalamu na wizara wanatuambia 
bado tuna upungufu mkubwa wa mbegu bora ambazo zinaweza kusaidia wakulima wetu kupata mazao bora na mengi kwa ekari ambayo ndio sayansi ya kilimo inataka na kuleta ufanisi zaidi kwenye sekta ya kilimo ambayo ndio sekta kubwa kupita zote nchini sasa leo siri kwa uwekezaji huu si kwamba tu atasaidia kupunguza huo upungufu lakini watapelekea kupatikana mbegu bora na zenye ufanisi mkubwa zaidi lakini pili uwekezaji huu sidiko iko katika nchi 22 barani Afrika ni kampuni kubwa uwekezaji wake tu hapa nchini sio tu Arusha maana yake ni endorsement na ushuhuda kwa wawekezaji wengine kwamba sasa Tanzania mazingira yake ya uwekezaji ni mazuri zaidi na hivyo itatusaidia kwenye kuvutia wawekezaji Mimi wapongeze sana Sidiko kwa uamuzi huu nachotaka kuhakikishia kwa niaba ya serikali wakati wote wa mradi huu kama ambavyo tumefanya kazi na sidiko kwenye mfumo wa serikali siku zote tuzidi kuhakikishia kwamba kwenye mradi huu tutawaunga mkono ili mradi ukamilike kwa wakati na kama kuna changamoto yoyote serikali tupo tayari kusaidia kuondoa hivyo vikwazo ili mradi ukamilike kwa sababu sidiko ni mdau ni mbia wa uhakika kwenye sera zetu na kwenye juhudi za serikali za kuimarisha na kukipeleka kilimo kwenye ngazi nyingine ya juu zaidi ili kusukuma maendeleo ya nchi yetu Mheshimiwa Rais amekuwa akitoa wito kila wakati kwamba wadau tuwahamasishe na pale napowezekana tuwaunge mkono kwa nguvu zetu zote kwa sababu serikali peke yake haina namna ya kuweza kuleta masuluhisho yote kwenye sekta zote. Kwa hiyo serikali tuna kila sababu ya kumunga kuunga mkono sidiko lakini sio sidiko tu na wadau wengine wote kwenye sekta ya kilimo na sekta zingine ambao wako tayari kuwekeza nchini. Na sisi tuwaahidi kama serikali wakati wote tuko tayari kuwasaidia kwa maeneo ambayo wanadhani serikali ina msaada. Baada ya kusema hayo niwarudie tena kwa e, mimi naitwa Geoffrey Kirenga natoka taasisi ya kueleleza kilimo katika ukanda wa kusini mwa Tanzania inayojulikana kama Sagcot au kwa kifupi the, the Southern Agricultural Growth Corridor of Tanzania. E, Sagcot inafanya kazi na wabia mbalimbali. Moja hapo ya mbia muhimu sana katika ubia wetu wa Sagcot ni kampuni hii inayoitwa Sidco. Hii kampuni ni kampuni ambayo imekuja kuwekeza Tanzania ikitikia wito wa serikali yetu kuweka uwekezaji na kuongeza uzalishaji wa mbegu hapa nchini. Mimi napenda nitambue jambo moja kubwa sana ambalo limefanyika. Hii kampuni ni moja hapo ya kampuni ambayo imewekeza kwenye kuzalisha mbegu hapa nchini kwa kutumia wakulima wanaolima hapa Tanzania. Bila kumtaja hapa kati yetu kuna mkulima ambaye analima kwa kilimo cha mkataba na hii kampuni na anaweza ana uwezo mkubwa sana kuzalisha katika ekari 400 ambazo anazalisha ana wastani ambao ni kati ya tani saba mpaka kumi za mahindi ambazo anazalisha kwa hekta na hizo mbegu zinauzwa kama mbegu hayo eh, mahindi yanauzwa kama mbegu kwenye kampuni ya Sidco na hiyo mbegu hiyo inatosha kupanda ni kampuni moja inatosha kupanda karibu hekta laki moja za mahindi hapa nchini na mazao yanayotokana na hizo hekta inalisha mamilioni ya Tanzania. Nimesema hii iwe kama mfano tu wa namna ambavyo uwekezaji unavyoweza kusaidia maendeleo na mchango wetu. Na hiyo huyo mkulima yuko mkoa wa Iringa, hii kampuni iko Arusha na tunapozungumzia masuala ya kupeleka kilimo nchi nzima, sababu tukwenda nchi nzima, huu ni mfano mmoja wapo. Lakini nimalizie kwa kusema tu kwamba sasa hivi serikali inawekeza sana kwenye kilimo kilimo cha umwagiliaji miundombinu wa umwagiliaji lakini inawekeza kwenye kuendeleza vijana kwenye kilimo hii yote kusudi waweze kulima kwa ufanisi wanahitaji mbegu bora 
lakini zaidi katika huu bia ndio sehemu ambayo tulikuwa tunashirikiana tukaweza kupata maarifa kwamba ni muhimu sana tuwe na afya ya udongo kilimo shadidi na ndio maana serikali imetoa kipaumbele kwenye hilo eneo na kwa ujumla wake mbali ya programu ile ya kuendeleza vijana inaitwa BBT vile vile serikali mwaka huu inawekeza kwenye kuchimba visima stini na tatu elfu nchi nzima kwa ajili ya kuendeleza kilimo cha umwagiliaji hivyo visima vitahitaji mbegu na mheshimiwa mkuu mkoa tunapoona kazi kama hii inafanyika na viongozi mnashiriki kwenye vitu kama hivi sisi tunafarijika kwa sababu tunajua sa, safari ya kwenda kujitosheleza kwenye kilimo inaendelea vizuri nimalize kwa kusema kwamba sasa hivi mheshimiwa rais amefanya kazi kubwa ya kuitisha mkutano wa kujadili masuala ya kilimo na usalama wa chakula barani Afrika ambao utafanyika Dar es Salaam kuanzia tarehe tano mpaka tarehe nane. Na chukua nafasi hii mheshimiwa mkuu wa mkoa kuwasisitiza watu wa mkoa wa Arusha, wakulima mkoa wa Arusha na wakulima wengine nchini muende kwenye huu mkutano, mshiriki, mjiandikishe, usudi mkutane na wakulima na wafanyabiashara wengine duniani. Tuweze kujifunza na mafanikio makubwa yaweze kupatikana hapa nchini kwa ushiriki wetu katika mkutano kama ule. Baada ya kusema hayo, nashukuru sana na asanteni sana. Uh, all protocols observed. It is an honor to be here today as we witness the groundbreaking ceremony of uh, our processing facility in uh, Arusha. It's been a long journey. We've been here for a number of years, but we've been operating from uh, rented premises. And the volumes have now grown to an extent where we actually need expanded premises and uh, uh, we can also be able to supply the seed more timely to the market. Um, as a company, we are operating in 22 countries in Africa. Uh, we are the largest seed company in Africa in terms of volumes of seed sold. Uh, we uh, sell seed uh, of maize, of barley, of wheat. Um, soya beans and we're also doing vegetable seeds uh, uh, from about a few years ago. Uh, this project is really important to Sidco in the sense that it is going to reduce our, uh, our supply chain. We have been uh, importing <coughs> seed and uh, processing, we have been importing seed from Zambia, processing it uh, here and sending it to Iringa and to Mwanza and so on. But this facility is now targeted to be doing all that uh, processing that we've been doing partially in Zambia before we send the seed here. That is going to enable the seed to be taken to the market much, much earlier. One of the things we like to do during the se selling season is go around the country and see how the seed supply situation is. And this last year, we saw that there was a big gap in terms of uh, supply of seed, the timeliness of the availability of that seed, and this facility is going to be uh, helping in that respect. It's a 6,000 uh, square meter facility. It's going to cost us roughly about 5 billion uh, Tanzanian shillings. Uh, I think it's going to change the landscape of uh, Kisongo. It's going to create employment for the uh, locals. It will obviously contribute to the fiscus in terms of uh, revenues. Uh, but more importantly, I think it's going to help significantly in terms of Tanzanian food security because it has always been the government's call to try and make sure that seed is produced locally and processed locally. We have one of our growers, uh, Otto, who's sitting in the tent, who's now producing about 3,000 tons, just him alone. Uh, this last year, we were able to produce about 60% of all the seed uh, that we sell in Tanzania locally. We continue engaging the government uh, to get access to more land and um, access to more production facilities so that we can produce 100% in Tanzania. That will help then in terms of reducing the speed to market. It will ensure that seed is readily available instead of it being imported from other countries. We are very helpful. Um, we, we are very thankful of the help that we are getting from the government and all the government uh, ministries that we've been working through. Uh, Jeff has been very, very instrumental in terms of support, in terms of pointing us in the right directions so that we can be able to get access to production facilities. And uh, we would also like to thank the local community for welcoming us in terms of coming to their village to construct this particular facility, which we think will um, help everyone involved.
Hii ni Arusha Kondo Hotel, hoteli ya kisasa iliyopo Kaloleni katikati ya jiji la Arusha. Muonekano wake ni wa meli lobeba kila kitu. Namba moja kuna maduka ya biashara, namba mbili ofisi za taasisi mbalimbali, na namba namba tatu ndo hoteli yenyewe sasa. Hapa utahudumiwa na wahudumu nadhifu wenye taaluma na kazi yao. Kwa ajili ya usalama, milango yote inafunguliwa kwa kadi maalumu zinazotumia umeme. Ukiwa ndani ya hoteli Unaweza kuona mji wa Arusha vizuri na kupata upepo mwanana kutoka katika vilima vya Mlima Meru. Kuna sehemu tulivu kwa ajili ya kupata chakula kizuri kilichopikwa hapa kutokana na oda yako. Arusha Kondo Hotel inakukaribisha kuja kupumzika hapa. Kwa mawasiliano zaidi, Arusha Kondo Hotel at gmail.com. Sim 0747705090 na 0676705090.